Hi, I'm Jeff Sanford. We're here at the Canadian Business Leadership Forum 2008. I'm here with Dave Mowat, the President and CEO of ATB Financial. Dave, you just gave a fascinating lecture on, or Q&A uh, session on sustainability. And the big question was sustainability. Does it cost money or does it make money? It absolutely makes money. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think some of the easiest things to see are the ways we can uh, reduce uh, the expenses. And, and they're very, very real. And even, even in times of stress like we have right now, we're all looking for ways to reduce our expenses. And so there's some very real things there. But I think uh, areas of uh, our, the strength of our reputation, uh, and a really important one uh, is our people. Uh, you know, just try and hire uh, people coming out of university these days. They do as much dilig due diligence on us as, they, as we do on them. And if you don't have a sustainable, sustainable record, if you're not a company that uh, looks, feels, and acts responsible. Good luck hiring the best people. That's right. There's a kind of a labor issue there, isn't there? Exactly. You, you uh, attended Al Gore's uh, uh, boot camp, uh, you know, on environmental issues, and so th I'm guessing this is a real personal issue for you, isn't it? You know, probably the the biggest part of that issue for me personally was to make sure the right conversation was being had by the right people. Uh, I think somehow that whole debate bait got hijacked by people at the fringe. And what I um, believe is that uh, business, consumers, and government, it's a, it's a three-legged stool. And this won't be solved unless everybody's at the table and, and business was on the defensive. Business will have the solution here. Yeah. Um, so we need to make sure that uh, business people are part of the debate, are well informed. And, and that was just a a great opportunity to uh, fill rooms and have people uh, discuss, debate, and learn. You're right. The uh, the conversation really does get picked up by the fringe, doesn't it? So many times. Where do you? See, where is the discussion in Canada? Is it on the right track? Do you see the government doing what it needs to do? Interestingly, I think business is way ahead. Um, especially some of our, you know, you see companies like uh, GE. Um, a lot of the companies who have worldwide operations, uh, they can they look at the global uh, impacts and they see it and they're acting. And, yeah. and a lot of this is first mover uh, advantage. You don't want to be get left uh, out of this parade. So uh, business, I think, are, are well on the way. And I believe now we have uh, um, some government uh, leaders, premiers of uh, our provinces, yeah. um, and I won't try and name yeah. them, but uh, I, th I think they get it too. So I think we're well on our way to having a great discussion and actually taking some concrete action in Canada. Good, and it's a strategic issue for businesses, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Um, you know, as a leader of a financial institution, I just want to touch on what's going on in markets lately. It's been crazy times. Um, you touched on regulation out there, and uh, you had some really smart things to say about principles-based regulation. That was interesting. I wonder if you could just touch on that for a second, and you know, maybe tie it back to what we've seen go on, go on in markets right. recently. Well, I think as, as Canadians, we have a legacy of being principles-based, and uh, I don't know if it's a 100% causal relationship, but our governance in Canada through the Office of the Superintendent of Financial Institutions, OSFI, yeah. It's very principles based, um, so the uh, the banks, credit unions, all, all of the financial institutions in Canada, uh, really adhere to something that is more principles based. Once you get rules based, anybody can game a set of rules. Yeah. You just have to be good at it. Yeah. Um, and unfortunately, we we live in a world that um, if one thing is good, uh, ten must be better. Um, so sometimes rules can. Um, become kind of almost outdated very, very quickly when you just got so much activity. And I think that's what happened in financial services is either we had some unregulated spots uh, of our business uh, or we had things where rules were being adhered to, but the spirit of the rule was just completely lost. Nobody could remember it anymore. Yeah. So if you stick to principles every day when you look at your rule book, you're reading a set of principles that you need to adhere to, and then you never lose the spirit of what's trying to be done. You know, as a leader of a financial institution through these, these periods, how, how do you lead an organization through this? It's really challenging, because yeah. um, we're, we're seeing unprecedented uh, change. So uh, on one hand, 
I do believe uh, in my heart that we, we got a strong financial system in Canada, and as I was saying this, some this morning, we have some of the best managed banks in the world, and yeah. that's a very good base to work from. So we're all talking uh, to people to be calm, yeah. uh, and what our responsibility as leaders is to create an environment where that calmness is warranted, and that means uh, staying on strategy, uh, and it's easier said than done when you're in, in, an, in an environment uh, like this. Yeah. So we really, um, you know, the tenant, our business is one that's differentiated. Uh, we're trying to be different, not the same. Sure. Um, so it's all built on the people side and on the customer side. And yeah. so we're really uh, sticking to our principles as who brought us to the dance yeah. and uh, trying to remember that yeah. and making sure that we uh, govern ourselves accordingly. That's great. Well, thank you very much, sir. Great. Been, Thank uh, you. It's been a pleasure. I'm Jeff Sanford reporting from the Canadian Business Leadership Forum 2008.